Hello, my name is Eric Westberg. I'm a product line manager with the radio power solutions team at NXP. Today we're talking about how NXP is offering solutions for the new 5G wireless infrastructure. 5G wireless is targeted at solving three key problems that are around today for the wireless infrastructure. The first is enhanced data throughput. Our devices need more and more data. We have an insatiable appetite for video, for content, that the 5G wireless infrastructure will help solve. Second, it needs to be always on. We don't want to need drop calls, and we need to have always on connected devices. And third, a low latency solution is necessary to be able to enable additional types of solutions, such as healthcare, autonomous vehicles, and other industrial applications. There's a pretty wide variety of solutions that are being implemented to be able to solve these three key challenges. And NXP has solutions and products across a variety of power levels and frequencies to be able to solve these challenges. One of those examples is active antenna solutions. So the industry is implementing products that instead of having two to four transmit paths, have 64 transmit paths in a single antenna. That requires the reduction in size and much higher levels of integration from the RF front end. So as an example, we have developed a whole family of products for transmit and receive in an extremely small footprint to be able to deliver these types of 64 transmit paths in a single system. By putting 64 transmit paths, transmit and receive, in a single antenna, it enables, it enables a massive MIMO system that will increase the capacity and coverage for these solutions. This is one example of the way NXP is providing solutions across all frequencies and all power levels to be able to provide solutions for the 5G wireless infrastructure world. Hi, my name is Rick van Kemenate and I'm responsible for product marketing of our millimeter wave infrastructure portfolio. Now, as Eric mentioned already, we're solving three major challenges in the next generation of 5G networks and one way in which we're also enabling that is by going into millimeter wave spectrum. So this is spectrum that's going to be unlocked in the 26 to 40 gigahertz uh, frequency ranges which is going to enable uh, the consumer to have access to a huge amount of extra bandwidth in those frequency ranges. Um, the wavelengths are going to be small at these, uh, at these frequencies, and that means that we have to move to phased array antenna systems rather than the classic single antenna solution that's been used in macro base stations so far. Um, and this means that we need ICs that are going to do beam forming as well as the front end uh, PA and LNA coverage that we've seen in the past. So what we have is a millimeter wave portfolio in which we are able to integrate uh, the LNA, the PA, the phase shift and the digital control all into one single highly integrated solution which uh, has actually got a sweet spot both in terms of the power consumption versus other technologies uh, as well as uh, in the cost of both building the system and owning the system. So this is uh, what we think is going to help us help our customers really unlock the key challenges of, uh, of millimeter wave in 5G. We see the first rollouts happening already uh, in fixed wireless access use cases and with the first millimeter wave phones launching in 2019, we're going to see this moving into RAN as well. Thank you very much.